What's up, all my bass heads out there? Welcome to my channel, uh, Image Design Audio. Today's topic, I don't even know what to call it, but it's going to be on port tuning and crossover tuning. So, how we got to this video is a question that I see that's not asked. Um, I asked somebody, um, did a lot of research on ported boxes, closed enclosure, stuff like that. So, this is the question. I have a lot of friends that have boxes tuned to 34 hertz. But when I hear the sound coming out, it doesn't sound like 34 hertz or 30 hertz. And they're like, yeah, man, my bass is deep. And I'm like, that don't sound like 34 hertz. Now, I've been in the bass for a long time. I've been in music for, I've been doing that for 25, 30 years. I know a frequency by ear now. So the question is, I called a few box designers that I know that are professional box designers. And this was the question. The question was, if I have my crossover in my amp, it only goes down to 50 hertz, but my box is tuned to, let's say, 30 hertz. Am I going to get 30 hertz? They said yes. The answer is actually yes and no. Let me make sense of that. Now, when you tune your box, let's say the box is 30 hertz, and your crossover set to 50 50 is going to be here. 30 is going to be here. So do I hear 30 hertz? No. I mainly hear 50 hertz. I'm going to get the rumble of the 30 hertz, but I'm hearing 50 hertz because my crossover is set to 50 hertz. It's not cutting off everything past 30. When you set your crossover to 30 hertz, let's say 30 hertz is here, here, on the knob, you cut off 40 hertz, mainly 50, 60, above. But if you set on 50, you cut off 60, 70, 80, but you can go down to 30, but you're standing wave. So I'm going to show you that visually because some people can't hear it. And that's fine. But I've been listening to frequency so long, I know I'm by ear. Dude could go down the street and I'm like, oh, he's low. That's 25. So what you want to do is get your frequency analyzer on your phone or whatever. I have one. See, it's picking up right now as I'm talking. You see the numbers moving? Every time I talk, it moves. Even if I simulate bass. Watch this. See, that was 180. That was 183. So... This is how you know. So one of my friends, he said, man, my box is tuned to 50, uh, the 30 hertz. But his amplifier uh, crossover, which is a cutoff, because it's cutting off frequencies. Remember that it cuts off whatever set before where it's set. So I said, no, dude, your box is tuned to 34, but that's not 30. I know what 34 sounds like. That's not 34. So I checked with my phone and he was on 45 hertz because that's where his crossover was set. So the answer to the question is, no, you don't really get 30 hertz just because your port is tuned to 30 or 35 hertz. You're going to get what the crossover and amplifier is sending to the speakers. So, and visually, let's say, get rid of these numbers. Don't pay the numbers no attention. But let's say, you see how you got the rise there? That's 35 hertz. That would be whatever hertz. Let's just say you have a rise. Your 50 is here, 30 is here. So you hardly even hear 30. So when you buy an amplifier to some of you guys that's new to car audio or not new, the lower the frequency on a crossover, 
the lower you're going to go, which you can match the port tuning. And that's what you want to do. If your box is tuned to 30, you want to cross over that goes down to 30 or 20 and set it on 30. If your box is tuned to 35, you want to cross over that goes down to 30 and you want to set your crossover to 35. It's going to sound better and you're going to get that roll off and you're going to get that slope. You're not going to get the high bass and be listening to 50 hertz and you think you're hearing 30 hertz. So that was just explaining. I just wanted to share with y'all something I was working out because in my mind it didn't make sense. And I asked some box builders because I'm not a box builder, but I know about boxes and I understand bass. And I understand sound. And that one didn't make sense to me. No, you, you can't go get an amplifier that has an 80 hertz crossover. And because you tune your box to 30 hertz, you're going to get 30 hertz. No, you're not. You're going to get 80 and you're going to get 30 here, which you're barely going to hear. So listen to bass guys. You could go on YouTube and listen to different bass tones. You know, by ear, you could pull up a, a one of the things I got is a tone generator. You could get them on Android. You could get them on Apple and Bluetooth it to your car. Or plug it in auxiliary and you can hear what those sounds sound like. I showed one of my friends, I said, no, you're on 45 hertz. I'm going to show you. And I pulled up my tone generator. I said, that's 45. That's where you at. Boop. I hit the button. That's 30. He said, oh, well, that's deep. Yeah, that's really 30. The dude that hooked your car up told you your bass was deep. It's not deep, bro. It's not that deep, bro. You... And I'm not putting nobody down. You don't know deep until you heard deep. Just like you don't know good earphones from bad headphones until you've been in it. You don't know uh, a Porsche from a Tesla until you've been on You don't know real speed until you've been in it. Th that's just how everything goes in life. You could get in a uh, you could get in a Mazda 3 or say some other uh, Honda sports car or or let's say you get in a uh, a fast ass Honda. That's the speed that you know. But go get in a Porsche or go get in a Ferrari. Now you talking about some real speed. You don't know till you know. But that's the end of the video, man. Peace out. This image design audio. You bass heads have fun out there with your bass, man. And we, you know, subscribe to the channel. 